Hello, everyone. Welcome to Miracles in Motion, the channel where we share inspiring stories that can transform your life. Today, I want to tell you a Zen story about the blind men and the elephant. This story will teach you a valuable lesson about perspective, humility, and harmony. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Once upon a time, there was a king who wanted to test the wisdom of his subjects. He invited six blind men to his palace and asked them to examine an elephant. The blind men agreed, and each one touched a different part of the elephant. The first blind man touched the elephant's trunk and said, This elephant is like a snake. It is long and flexible and can move in any direction. The second blind man touched the elephant's ear and said, This elephant is like a fan. It is large and thin and can create a breeze. The third blind man touched the elephant's leg and said, This elephant is like a pillar. It is strong and sturdy and can support a lot of weight. The fourth blind man touched the elephant's side and said, This elephant is like a wall. It is smooth and flat and can block the way. The fifth blind man touched the elephant's tail and said, This elephant is like a rope. It is thin and hairy and can be tied or untied. The sixth blind man touched the elephant's tusk and said, This elephant is like a spear. It is sharp and pointed and can pierce through anything. The blind men then started to argue with each other about what the elephant was like. They each insisted that they were right and that the others were wrong. They became so angry that they began to fight with each other. The king watched the scene with amusement and then intervened. He said, Stop fighting, my friends. You are all partially right and partially wrong. The elephant is not like a snake, a fan, a pillar, a wall, a rope, or a spear. The elephant is all of these things and more. You only touched one part of the elephant, but you did not see the whole elephant. If you want to know the truth, you have to combine your perspectives and listen to each other. The blind men realized their mistake and felt ashamed. They apologized to each other and thanked the king for his wisdom. They learned that they should not judge something by its appearance, but by its essence. They also learned that they should respect other people's opinions, even if they differ from their own. They understood that by working together, they could achieve a better understanding of reality. So what did you think of this story? Did it inspire you to change your perspective? Did it remind you to be humble and harmonious? Did it motivate you to seek the truth? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to hear more stories like this one, don't forget to subscribe to Miracles in Motion and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.